good morning and time for the day in the life of a med student. First things first, I picked my outfits the night before, so that's my outfit for today and we are off. speed up my walk here but i'm living in the dorms on my med school campus so my walk is primarily getting from my dorm room to the outside of the building and then once i'm outside the building it's just a quick walk across the street but what's nice about this building is that once i get to the center of it there's a gorgeous tennis court in the middle i have yet to use it but a lot of my classmates do and they really seem to enjoy it I've got to ramp up my tennis skills. I haven't played since high school gym class, so hopefully I'll get out there soon enough. But uh, this is nice. It gives me an opportunity to prepare myself for the cold outside of the building, truly outside. And I've got to walk through here, security on my right, just to get outside. And here we are. Like I mentioned, it's just a quick walk across the street. Boston drivers are something else compared to my hometown, but I've learned to just sort of send it with the traffic here and cross the street. And now I'm on the campus officially, making my way up the stairs and looking at the gorgeous courtyard. This campus is even more beautiful than I imagined, but the majority of my classes are held inside this one building that I'm on my way to now. This is TMEC where I do all of my learning. I come in here. A uh, blessing and a curse about this campus is that it's incredibly protected by security. So you have to swipe in everywhere you go. And not just once at the door, but I'll have to swipe in again once I get to this inner door. Now I'm walking down the hallway here. I'm a bit early for class. I have a couple of things I need to do before class starts. So I'll wave to the classroom where I do my learning from 8.30 to noon every day. I'm gonna walk just past there into a private study area. Um, it's an empty room where I often do some of my late night studying with friends, but I'm coming in here a bit early today to get a couple of things done before class starts. I'm gonna take that seat back there, but Oh wow, they left some of my drawings up from our last exam. <laughs> People have yet to erase them, but moving on from that. Let's get started. So this morning I have to take two quizzes for the two classes that I have today. Um, my campus and my curriculum works in a flipped classroom format. So rather than being taught in lecture style every day during class, I have to teach myself all the material the night before, take a quiz on each set of material, depending on how many classes we have that day. And as long as I pass the quiz, get above a 50%, I get credit for it. And then in class the next day, or later that afternoon, if you're cramming the quizzes in in the morning, um, rather than being lectured at, we work through problems in class. So it's a real case-based learning curriculum, which I absolutely love and was one of the big reasons why I chose this school. So what I'm doing right now is opening up all of the prep material for class today. Um, the quizzes are due at 8.15, so I'm cutting it a little close by coming before class. I like to do these before the morning. However, we're doing what we gotta do. I'm opening up those quizzes um, and also the prep material so that I can read through it, take notes if I need to, and then I'll take the quizzes. The quizzes are between five to 10 questions in the morning. So it really doesn't take too long. The longest part of all of this is just getting through the reading material and making sure that you have a decent grasp on it so that you can build upon those um, foundational principles in class. I like to use split screen on my iPad. Um, I came here with a laptop, but an iPad has been life-changing for me. I usually have the organization tool that I use. I use Notion to organize all my classwork on one side, and then I have Canvas, which is our class organization page, open up on the left side so that I can have the quizzes up and also refer back to the material if I need to. And all the quizzes are open note, um, and our exams are as well. So it's nice to have all of my materials pretty organized which makes a huge difference. All right, took these quizzes. <laughs> Didn't do so hot on one of them, but that's okay. Now I gotta get ready for class.
All right. Out of respect for my classmates, I won't show their faces, but here's a close up. Um, our classes, depending on what we have, is broken up into different types of questions. So for our session we were having today, this one was all about metabolism, which was largely a review for some of us. This was some old MCAT material that some of us recognized, but we'll have anywhere between five to 10 questions in a class, and we work in small groups of four at little tables. There's about 40 of us in a room split into small groups of four, and we'll do breakout sessions where we get anywhere from five to 15 minutes to talk about something, and then we'll come back as a class and sort of review the material together. I'm taking notes on all of the slides all the while. We are fully masked in class all the time. Not allowed to take those off. We also aren't allowed to eat or drink in class. So if I want to take a sip of something, I have to get up, step out, take a sip, and come back in. The classrooms that we have are pretty incredible, actually. We have TVs set up everywhere in addition to whiteboards. And then we also have our classmates to use as a resource because they're right there. And after two classes just like that, I am off to lunch break. We get out at noon, and about this time I get a text from my best friend from home, and we usually FaceTime for lunch. So what you're looking at is us navigating through lunchtime together. Um, she watches me cook. She's already got her lunch at her job. Today she was having pie for lunch, very healthy. Um, and yeah, once I'm done with lunch, I get on with the rest of my day. Just finished a meeting with a um, pediatric hematologist that I have just started working with. Really excited to work on that. Um, it's all related to an actual chronic illness that I had experience with. So I wasn't planning on getting involved in research during my first year, but sometimes opportunities just come up and I could not let this one slide. So I reached out to them and I finally got access to sort of the electronic medical record in this um, health system here in Boston. And so I get to start working on that project now, very excited but it is only two o'clock in the afternoon and I feel like I have not stopped moving. Um, in addition to navigating um, this, it's called power chart is what the hospitals in, at, at least at Boston Children's Hospital use. And so in addition to figuring out how to navigate power chart today, because it took so long just for me to get access, I wanna bust a move on that project so I'm not <laughs> holding up the team. In addition to that, I have to do prep from the past on Thursday because my exam was Friday so I didn't really do the prep for Thursday so I could study for Friday or for Friday's exam and then I took the full weekend off and so I barely did prep for today I was falling asleep in class it was a little bit rough so that's what needs to happen today I need to do backlogging of of prep and then also prep for tomorrow and then then eat I think I should eat something had a, a light lunch so I'll probably do heavier dinner and I just started a new show on Netflix so I really want to be able to watch some TV it's my down week after an exam so I'm trying to cherish that a little bit but I think it's time for a change of scenery that's mandatory for me in terms of studying I'm really really trying to not make my room a study spot I want this to be a relaxation zone exceptions are for meetings but for the most part I want to be away from here when I'm studying and really getting into the zone with things, but I'm also exhausted. So I'm gonna take a risk and get a coffee with some espresso in it at two o'clock in the afternoon. And <laughs> we'll see if I can sleep later. Um, I feel like I need two shots of espresso, but I think future me is gonna be more appreciative if I do one shot of espresso. So let's do one. And if I am struggling again later, I'll just get another coffee without espresso. So. Let's find a study spot. Change in plans. I don't have the brain power to study right now, so we're gonna do ice cream and like, I'm gonna do like an hour of TV. Then we'll hit the books. I'll see you then. Hey, hey. The quick eating of ice cream turned into a whole nap. Um, I did not even watch that much TV because I fell asleep right away. So I am putting on my shoes. Finally going to find a study spot. There is, I usually study in one of the buildings on campus called TMAC. But today a group of my friends are in this other building called the New Research Building. NRB for short. Very creative name, I know. So that's where I'm headed now.
I just got back to my room from studying in new research building. It is, I can't even see what time it is. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, I was studying, I got all of my prep done for tomorrow and a little bit of research work done. Now I just got back to my room. Although it is 10 and I'm not super hungry, I feel like I should eat. So I'm gonna take a shower, eat a little bit, um, get ready outfit wise for my day tomorrow. And then if there's time left, I will watch a little bit of Netflix before bed. If there's not, that is fine. I'm trying to be better, at least this week, about trying to get at least seven hours of sleep. The past week was in prep for an exam, so I wasn't getting tons of great sleep. I'm gonna try to make a better effort about doing that this go round. But in any case, that was my day. Nothing super crazy, and it usually looks like that each day. Um, class guaranteed from 8.30 to 12 every day with a little break in between. And then I am usually have the rest of the afternoon free unless I have anatomy lab, which I didn't have today, Monday. I'll have that on Thursday. Um, but on my free afternoons, I'll sprinkle in a couple of research meetings. But mostly I'm studying, getting ready for the next day, trying my best to go back and consolidate the information that I learned the day before, the week before. And then in three weeks time, I will be having another exam. My next exam is going to be my third one and then after that I only have one more and then we're going to be finishing this block and then we start the next block which I think is called IDD. I forget what it stands for but rumor has it it's supposed to be on the same level as this block or maybe a little easier but then again it depends on which M2 you ask. Nonetheless that was today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me um, and maybe I'll do one of these again in the future once I change my block and my schedule changes and I'll definitely do one again when I'm starting my rotations in exactly one year. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.